Hello and welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here on Vanilla FM. And we have just finished the season, the first season for the save. Um, it, it didn't go well, I must say. I didn't even bother showing you the last match because uh, there was nothing much to see. That last match, we are, it's already been decided that we are not going to go ahead for the playoffs. We finished just shy of the playoffs uh, in 8th place. Um, yeah, so this goes to show that if you change the whole squad halfway through the season, yeah, bad things happen. So just to show you the last few games, we had a mixture of wins, draws and losses. But um, yeah, so we never really managed to get the hang of things. Uh, now in the summer, what we do is basically just press forward and try and put another team back together for the next season. I've just uh, tried to uh, keep one of the players that was being poached by another club. I'm not sure whether or not I'm going to keep him for next season, but I thought I'd go ahead and give him a new non-contract again, just in case. Um, yeah, so to summarize that experiment, again, if you've been following since the beginning, we start off by giving the current players of uh, uh, Hereford um, FC, the real life players of Hereford FC, until January. And then past January, uh, I implemented my own systematic way of uh, finding new players. And that completely broke the team, actually. Um, uh, yeah, that, that completely broke the team. And we were in f first place for a long time. And then we descended down to below the playoffs. So the fans are very happy with us. The board is okay with us, actually. But the fans are not very happy with us because they thought we would make the playoffs. And that was not the case. So, plan for next season is to rebuild the squad, and then obviously that will stay um, um, no no changes throughout the season. So, once I rebuild the squad in the summer, it will broadly be based on the current squad, so there won't be many changes there. And then, as the season as the season goes on. And uh, the January review, there won't be many changes either, so that will keep things consistent. Um, there are a lot of players retiring at the moment. Um, I've been avoiding the media ever since. I started the save, so a lot of players have retired already. Uh, I suspect Peter will retire, and anyone else? Les might retire, possibly as well. So I might have to rebuild my whole attack and some players in defense as well. The cohort, uh, the, the youth cohort has come in. So that is, I put some older players in there as well, just to kind of give them some mentoring. But um, yeah, the youth cohort has come in. It's not a great cohort, as you can see. And the best player we have is Carrick Overson, apparently. So I'd never actually start transfers until June, just because um, that's when other clubs start to open up as well. Peter Clark is retired. I'm going to send back some of these loans if I can. Oh, not yet. Okay, I need to wait for the window to open. But the window is open. Hmm, maybe it, it's a different transfer window. That they're talking about. Um, I would vote for myself if I could, but because I can't, I'm gonna vote for the guy just below me. There we go. Uh, our captain has retired, so I'm gonna choose a new captain. And it's gonna be Orion, followed by Dwayne. So, um, yeah, that is a lot to be said about the changes in squad. Like, if you rebuild the whole team in one go, like I did, you're probably going to face the same issues that I encountered. Like, Cohesion obviously goes 
down the drain um, the, t the tiers of influence get um, basically destroyed so that's why you don't make many changes like if you're if I had any sense I wouldn't have made that many changes but this is an experiment and this is what it's all about We still managed to improve on our prediction. So we were predicted to finish 12th. We actually finished eighth, which is four places above the prediction. Um, so for that, I am quite glad. Let me just adjust the mentoring for these guys as well, because Jan has retired. And that means we have an extra spot in coaching. Oh no, we haven't. So is this, has he stayed on as a coach? Oh yeah, yeah he has as a assistant coach. What's the contract status? Everybody's on a full contract still. Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Is he one of my players? No, he's not. Okay, you can go ahead. Now we have improved our youth facilities, uh, youth facilities have been improved, we've also, or something else, uh, junior coaching budget has been increased as well, so if you go to our facilities now, uh, we now have basic youth facilities and junior coaching is fairly basic, so we're still quite limited in what we can do, I can try and push for things to get going but I don't think they will um, just because there's a financial limitation as well to what we can do much to do in that meeting. I'm hoping I can send these guys back soon. Yeah, just as I thought, not, none of those were uh, accepted. We don't have a lot of money in the bank and we're actually in the negative at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for people to poach Dale. That's fine because he doesn't follow our systematic approach. So we're gonna let him go, sadly. That, because it just doesn't follow the criteria of the experiment. Man United. Man United, yeah, it is. Uh, Man United won the FA. Oh, rejected Bath. He decided to stay. That's unusual. things that I noticed made a big difference finance wise last year expenditure last season is um, it was scouting budget the scouting budget was because I did that world scouting for a while that took quite a big chunk of our 
of our budget. Not bad, not bad. I'm sure we will receive our lump sums soon for sponsorship and whatnot. In fact, are we already? No. There's nothing this season for sponsorship yet. Oh, there is. Hmm. Okay. Um, there's one thing I want to look at, which is the, the Hereford Stadium has a sponsor. And it didn't renew. It, it never does renew. This is one of the bugs that uh, I noticed in the last edition of the game, and I reported it. And this time it happened again. The stadium sponsor didn't renew. And it's always had, as far as I can remember, that Hereford have always had a stadium sponsor. In, in real life, there's always been a stadium sponsor. As far as I can remember, even when it was Sarah Hereford United. Okay, so I has kind of had a, a bit of an open ended goal for this. Um, for this episode, I didn't really know what I wanted to really achieve with it, other than show you that, you know, we never really got to the playoffs again, we've always stayed um, below 7th, ended up just below the playoffs, um, and it's actually quite hard to uh, make a team work if you renew the whole entire squad all in one go especially when it's halfway through the season because they never really have time to become um, cohesive so it's good that I get to do the experiment you, you don't have to if you don't want to you can be sensible and you know transfer in and out at a slower pace uh, yeah I don't mind you leaving that's okay and so so now it's just like clicking through the summer. What I'm going to do next is... Um, really? I just think I remember this name. Um, what I'm going to do next is uh, go through the whole process of renewing contracts for staff. Uh, now, like here at the end of the month. Uh, make sure I've got my staff sorted out. And um, then start looking at players. So here we have the season expectations. I'm always maxed this out, even though if I don't quite get it, um, I've always maxed this out just to give us a little bit of extra budget. It's not much of a difference, but it still goes a long way. Uh, I think I achieved the FA Trophy. Um, goal last season but I didn't achieve the FA Cup goal so I was like one one shy of achieving it so um, I'm not on here oh, there we go 581 there we go um yeah so so I'll, I'll do that. I'll work on staff and I'll, then I'll start working it for new players. And then uh, I will join back up with you at the start of the season. Uh, once I have my new or renewed squad, not, not completely new I hope, but slightly renewed squad. Um, we've obviously lost a lot of our older players as expected. We might even lose Les or Les might continue for one more season. I don't know. But um, yeah, so we'll got a few of these loanies to um, return as well and get substi yeah, and substitute and etc, etc. So I'll do all of that, I'll work on all those aspects and then I'll come back with a slightly better team, I hope, and 
by that time, the team will know, you know the players will know each other better, and they, they they might do slightly better for us next season. So hopefully we can get to the playoffs, if not even win the league, because we were, you know, if I get my screen back, we we were pretty close last season. We were trailing in first for a long time, uh, and only like halfway through the season, it basically just plummeted, uh, completely nosedived into um, the sort of top. the top positions uh, just below the playoffs so hopefully we can do that in the meantime thanks so much for uh, watching till the end and, and um, yeah just following this experiment I don't know how it's gonna turn out the whole aim of the save is to follow this sort of systematic approach to transfers and then uh, build a squad in that way continue through the seasons and see how far we can take care of it um, up the leagues, if any. I tried this uh, before on my channel. There's, um, you can watch the last edition of FM, uh, and I think even the one last previous to that as well. I think it's 2022 and 2023. I don't know, 2021 and 20. I don't know. The previous editions of FM. You can go and watch them if you want. I didn't quite follow the same method. Um, I didn't allow the Hereford players to stay for the first half of the first season. This time, I decided that I wanted to do that. I wanted to give the real life players. Um, half a season to to do you know to kind of see what they could do as a as a team and actually Hereford you know credit to them they, they have a pretty good team I think they could win the league so I mean I don't know how they're doing now I haven't actually checked how they're doing if they have actually won the league or not but um uh yeah so follow me again in the next episode where I'm going to take you through the a fresh squad and start the season. Thanks so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can also check out Patreon. Take care. Bye-bye.